What's up guys, welcome to Praying with Charles. In this video, we're gonna get you live streaming as quick as possible with what's going on around America and the globe. We know that if you don't go online, you probably aren't gonna have a congregation right now. But hey, if you're just joining us, we're a prayer ministry that takes you with us as we travel to the ends of the earth to witness the power of prayer firsthand. And we do different tutorials just like this, so consider subscribing. All right, let's get into it. So. Uh, chances are you probably have a cell phone and you're looking something like this right now. You got you and uh, Johnny's up there holding the camera and, and you're going live and you're getting it done for Jesus and we appreciate that because that's how the church is going to grow. But what I want to do is just give you a little insight that I've gathered up through our ministry and some of this is some of the gear that we started with in the very beginning and we want to get it to you guys that way you can get a little bit better quality and that people don't click away because when they're home, when they're bored, and let's face it, you're having your congregation go online, uh, there's lots of distractions. So we want to get crispy audio, we want to get things popping so that your congregation, your viewers stay uh, with you for the message and have an opportunity to be touched by Christ. Alright, so what we have here is what you guys have in your pockets right now. Just your ordinary cell phone, this one's a little outdated, but... Uh, this is what I have to work with and so I have went ahead and set up this mount of course you may have a tripod already but if you don't I'm gonna link to a really good tripod in the YouTube description below make sure and check that out uh, and the next piece that holds it all together is this U grip and the cool thing about this U mount is it holds everything together and that way this whole system comes off uh, but the important part of this if you're using a mic is it's able to mount either this camera setup or a DSLR can just sit on here itself and so from there I'll make sure and link this as well but that just holds your little cell phone nice and tight and again you want to make sure and use the front camera on your cell phone because it's always the better camera people sometimes want to see what's going on and with the back view you get to see yourself but it's a lot better camera and that's going to keep people tuned in a little bit longer. From there, of course, is the Rode VideoMic Pro. We're going to link to this in the description as well. And the great thing about this mic is if you have drums and piano and a preacher up on stage and you don't want to tune straight into the camera, straight into the phone, this is going to pick up the, the room really well. And so it's a good budget option. We'll put that in the description, but something important when you're getting this mic is it comes with a cord that has a double black tip and that connects to a, a better camera, a full size DSLR camera and since we're plugging into a cell phone you're going to want to get this extra cord with a gray tip. It'll be able to connect to any cell phone. And so now you're getting good audio straight out of a cell phone. And once you're in your app, here we are at mine, praying with Charles on Facebook you're going to want to scroll down and you've probably already gone live at this point but in case you haven't there's a create a post and you press live and you're starting a live video and something you want to do is already on a notes or a text have a pre type description with all the information from your church and maybe what the video is about and so uh, tap the description and then you want to go ahead and copy and paste that there and that way you'll have your description already loaded and going press done and then start live video once you're ready to go live you got it mounted in the mount and then you can press start live video and again you're making sure that the better camera is facing forward that way you're getting the optimal settings out of your iPhone out of your Android or whatever you're filming with okay, so you got your camera mounted and looking at mine right now it's working really good horizontal I'm not completely sure about what camera you're using or how it works, so when you go live, it's always best to go horizontal. But in case your camera doesn't work, you want a few people standing by who are well aware that you're going to go live. And if for some reason it's showing up on their phone, on their computer, have a couple people with devices standing by. That way they can tell you if you need to quickly uh, switch the screen. But for optimal viewing, you really want horizontal. And so as you can tell, probably a little bit from the background, even this area is a little dark. Uh, but something that we have are these lights here. These are our Favitech lights. 
And we'll make sure to link these up in the description as well. That way you can get some lighting. In case your church doesn't have, most people have overhead lighting in their sanctuary. And it's really good and your cell phone's able to pick up some awesome lighting. But in case it's off, in case you're in an office, a dark room recording, uh, lighting is optimal. You know, people will put up with a lot of lighting issues, but one thing they won't put up with is sound. If your sound and audio is off, then they'll probably just click away. So you can get by with a little bit more lighting. And a lot of cameras these days have good built-in technology for that. Uh, but we'll link to these lights as well. That way you can get optimal lighting. And a bonus tip for you guys today is if your camera is far back and you need to get make sure that your subject is getting good audio, you can get a boom pole like this and you can actually mount that same Rode mic on it. And that way what it's going to do is it's going to put the sound a lot closer to your subject. That way uh, you can hear everything that they're saying even a little bit clearer. And there's plenty of easy ways with a boom pole like this to get it just out of frame. You'd be surprised that when I move it just a little bit, uh, it's just out of frame. And so that way this is a, somewhat of a directional mic and you want to make sure that it's basically pointing at the mouth or the speaker of the subject that you're filming and then you can get a long wire like this that way you can loop it back all the way to the iPhone or the camera or whatever right. you need. So there it is guys. I really hope you enjoyed this content. I hope it's going to be able to get you streaming live on Facebook really quick and make sure to get the message of Christ out because just like at Praying with Charles, you know, God's put three things on our heart. The gospel, unity, and urgency, expectancy. We want to get the message of Christ out to those in the nations in a unified manner as quick as possible. And so we know that you're a part of that mission. We know that you're a part of the kingdom. And so if you'll let me, let me just pray for you guys during this time. I just want to ask that Lord will bless you wherever you are, however you're watching this video. Uh, I want to just lift up your church, your congregation, your organization, whatever kind of ministry you have. And just ask the Lord if he will bless you in a mighty way, whether it's financial provision to get some more tools to get the gospel message out there, or if it's just the intuition, or if you guys need medical healings in your congregations, whatever it is, we just want to bless you. So Father, I just ask that in the name of Jesus, the people that are watching this video, Lord, I pray, Father, that they are blessed and that they have increased during this season and not decreased. Father, I ask that you move mightily across this nation and across the world in such a time like this. Father, we thank you and we praise you in Jesus' name. Amen. Guys, I really appreciate you tuning in. If you like this, again, would you subscribe? Hit the bell. That way you get notified next time we put out a video. Uh, hit the like button. That's going to trigger, trigger some algorithms on YouTube in our favor, and we're going to get this video out to more people. If you see this as a ministry tool or you know some churches that might need a little boost on their sound or video, audio quality, please, you know, pass this around. I really want to bless people and make sure that the gospel continues to get out to the nations during this time. I just know that we're going to get through this together. If we pull together, if we band together our resources, our knowledge, our influence, uh, we're going to see the other side of this in no time. So we appreciate you guys hanging in with us, and we'll see you in the next video.